Welcome back to another episode of Wild Kingdom Chronicles, where we delve into the fascinating world of wildlife. Today, we have an incredible adventure in store for you as we explore the realm of one of Africa's most notorious and dangerous creatures, the Tsetse fly. Join us as we uncover the secrets and unravel the mysteries surrounding these tiny yet deadly animals. So, fasten your seat belts and get ready for an unforgettable journey into the realm of the Tsetse fly. Scene 1, on location in African savanna. Excitedly, here we are, deep in the heart of the African savanna, known for its breathtaking landscapes and diverse wildlife. But among all these magnificent creatures, there's one that strikes fear into the hearts of both humans and animals alike, the Tsetse fly. Scene 2, Interview with Expert Entomologist Speaking to the camera, to understand more about the Tsetse fly and its deadly capabilities, we're fortunate to have Dr. Jane Turner, a renowned entomologist and expert in Tsetse fly research, with us today. Let's hear what she has to say. Dr. Turner, DT, passionate and knowledgeable, Tsetse flies are small, blood-sucking insects found primarily in Sub-Saharan Africa. Despite their tiny size, they pose a significant threat to both humans and animals. These flies are vectors for a parasitic disease called African trypanosomiasis, commonly known as sleeping sickness. Scene 3, Animation of the Life Cycle Engagingly, let's take a closer look at the life cycle of these dangerous insects. Can you walk us through it, Dr. Turner? DT, pointing to the animation, certainly, H, the life cycle of a tsetse fly begins when a female lays her eggs, usually near bodies of water. These eggs hatch into larvae, which undergo several stages of development. After pupation, Adult flies emerge and start their blood feeding activities. It's during this stage that they transmit the deadly trypanosomes, the parasites responsible for sleeping sickness. Scene 4, Interview with Local Residents Speaking to the camera, to truly grasp the impact of Tsetse flies on local communities, we spoke to some individuals who have encountered them firsthand. Local Resident 1, LR1, Concerned Tsetse flies are a constant threat to our livestock. They carry the disease, and once our animals are infected, it can be devastating for our livelihoods. Local resident 2, LR2, worried, not just livestock, H. Tsetse flies also pose a severe risk to humans. The sleeping sickness they spread can be fatal if not treated in time. Scene 5, Showcasing Control Measures, Curious, Given the dangers these flies pose, what measures are being taken to control their population? DT, explaining, there are multiple approaches to controlling tsetse flies. Some involve the use of insecticides, trapping devices, and sterile insect techniques. In recent years, efforts to develop genetically modified tsetse flies have shown promise. These modified flies have reduced fertility or are unable to transmit the parasites, offering hope for controlling the spread of sleeping sickness. Scene 6, Wrap Up Reflective, it's clear that Tsetse flies are a formidable force in the African ecosystem. Their role as vectors for sleeping sickness makes them a significant concern for human and animal health. But, thanks to the dedicated efforts of scientists, researchers, and local communities, progress is being made in understanding and combating this deadly threat. Conclusion Closing remarks, that concludes our journey into the world of the Tsetse fly. We hope you found this adventure both educational and eye-opening. Join us next time as we continue to explore the wonders of our planet's diverse wildlife. Until then, Stay curious and stay safe. Goodbye. Wild Kingdom Chronicles is brought to you by our generous sponsors. Discover the beauty of the natural world and support conservation efforts. Tune in next week for another captivating episode.